Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, first, let me recognize and thank the team uh, of lawyers that uh, did this matter pro bono, Honorable Chep Konga, Honorable Murugara, Honorable Kaluma, Honorable Mutuse, Honorable Muriu, Honorable Makali, Honorable Soro, Honorable Mogaka, and myself. Madam Speaker, we have no doubt as a team that the decision rendered by the High Court is wrong on so many uh, fronts. It is wrong on um, the role of the MPs in CDF. It is wrong on the role and term of the fund account managers who are not in any way connected to the MPs. It is wrong on following the obiter dicta by the Supreme Court when the Supreme Court rendered an opinion on an act that had since been repealed and therefore is not binding. And for the avoidance of doubt, Madam Speaker, we have already agreed that we will appeal that decision. The good thing is that after declaring the act unconstitutional, the court did a suspension of the declaration of invalidity for two years. That is enough time for us to prosecute a number of things. It is enough time for us to prosecute the appeal. You will remember, Madam Speaker, that previously the High Court declared the previous act unconstitutional. The Court of Appeal did not agree and affirmed it, and only the High Court then agreed with the, uh, you know, only the Supreme Court then agreed with the High Court. It is quite possible that we might follow a similar trajectory on this matter. Madam Speaker, secondly, and this we have said before, the ultimate solution to all this push and pull is amendment of the Constitution. And that amendment, Madam Speaker, we have already agreed, even in the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee, that we want to make it a standalone uh, you know, amendment away from the entire NADCO report. It is our view as the lawyers and at the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee that we can execute that amendment without requiring a referendum. Madam Speaker, the beauty is that once we have entrenched the NGCDF, then the constitutional provision cannot be unconstitutional. It will be along the lines of having entrenched the judiciary fund, and that then should be a proper cushion. But once we do the amendment, we will then again have to redo the act itself by bringing a new act, which will be in line with the amendment. Madam Speaker, a lot of people do not understand, and if you allow me just one more minute, Madam Speaker, that before CDF and before devolution, the, before decentralization, the situation was very, very bad. You had a situation where there were parts of this country that would not even get one cent. It is only the CDF that goes to all the 290 constituencies in this country. It is only through devolution that